Hello everyone, my name is Nishchak Kothari and I'm working as a database consultant in Ashnik. As we all know that the implementation of PostgreSQL, whether if it is on a, as a standalone or in replication mode, or the platform can be on cloud or on premises, is always time consuming and also required some manual configurations. So here I would I, here I would like to uh, demonstrate the tools which makes your implementation very quick and hassle free. So in this session, I will cover the introduction of the cloud ops tool prerequisite uh, of the configuration uh, to deploy the PostgreSQL with the replication setup and deploy the PostgreSQL with replication and also cover the future roadmaps. This tool is web application tool which simplifies the installation management and uh, uh, monitoring of multiple types of databases uh, and also deployed on a public cloud or private cloud. This tool is completely developed by Ashnik. There are various features are offered by this tool, like it can be uh, able to help you to provision the infrastructure on various public cloud and also uh, able to provision on a local virtual environments as well. Also able to perform uh, the installation and deployments of database with various options like standalone HA with connection cooler and many more. Also save the deployment logs. Also allows you to uh, save the deployment logs for future troubleshooting and uh, auditing purpose. Uh, this particular tool also have a single window for dashboard and for monitoring. Also able to use backup and recovery operation and also will give you a single query window, SQL query window. Uh, which allows the users to connect uh, to the appropriate database to execute SQL commands like DDL, DML, and etc. This tool is not uh, limited uh, to PostgreSQL deployment. It will also support other databases like MongoDB, Redis, and also uh, Elasticsearch. As mentioned uh, that uh, we have deployed a customized version of this tool for our one of the large customer. Now we decided to enhance this tool to make more feature rich. So in future, we also planning to add some more support for a uh, closed source of PostgreSQL, which is enterprise TB, uh, adding to support for uh, other database types, like as we see in previous slides. Uh, we also planning to add full support for high ability via enterprise TB failover manager tool and also to handle the application connection uh, request, adding the support for connection pooler like PG Bouncer and PG Pool. Uh, on top of that, we are also planning to adding uh, some functionality for dashboarding and monitoring as well, and also provide a single query SQL window. Uh, sorry, a uh, single SQL uh, query window for the query access and database access. Now let's proceed to the actual uh, tool. But before that, I would like to strongly emphasize that architecture setup like master slave, master slave uh, installation and configuration with replication will not finish quickly. And especially when you need to deploy on quite number of servers, then in that case, it will require many days. And also there are some high chance of, of our, uh, error generation. But with this tool, you will see how easily and quickly we can deploy without any errors. Okay, uh, this is the tool we call Cl Cloud Ops, which is developed by our talented developers. So this is the registration page where you, uh, where a user need to register themselves by entering the necessary details. Once user click on the registration button, uh, then he or she will receive the confirmation email where user need to verify his or her email address. So after the verification of the email address, the user can uh, log in this particular tool via login page. So uh, let's log in into the tool. Okay, so now we have to enter the necessary credentials. Okay, so now we are logging into the particular tool and this is the welcome page here. You will see the dashboard in future. So now let's proceed to perform some uh, prerequisite configuration uh, to deploy the PostgreSQL with replication setup. So first of all, we need to uh, add the SSH keys uh, of each and every node where we would like to set up PostgreSQL. So, and this particular uh, 
SSH key you can uh, download from the appropriate cloud providers. So now he, here we have to click on the create SSH key. Then uh, enter the necessary information. And this is the my uh, already downloaded uh, SSH key, so which I'm going to paste here and then save. I have to do the same steps for my uh, standby machine as well. So I'm going to repeat the same step. Okay, so now my SSH key is already saved in this particular tool. After that, we have to move to select the templates. So, okay, here you can see that it is a PostgreSQL is that, but in future you will see some other uh, database op options as well. So we have to click as of now uh, PostgreSQL. Now here you have the opportunity to select the uh, select the uh, sub templates. Uh, if you would like to uh, deploy for the standalone, then you have to select uh, for the standalone template. And here we are going for this uh, demonstration. We are going to use uh, PostgreSQL master and standby with replication setup. So we are going to click on the configure first. Here, uh, this is the page for the cluster. So first of all, we have to create the cluster where the cluster is nothing is just the collection of the nodes where we are going to deploy our Postgres setup. So we have to fill the necessary details. And in the license terms, as of now, it's a PostgreSQL, so it's an open source, but as we know that Enterprise DB also have a standard addition as well for the PostgreSQL. So uh, if user wants to use, uh, once they have tools have a capability, then also use over there the Enterprise. Now description to understand the more detailed purpose of that and then click save. Now, after the creation of the cluster, we need to proceed for nodes creation. Here we have to, uh, we have to click first of all the create node button. And then we have to fill the, all the necessary informations like the uh, selection of the cluster, which we already created uh, in a previous screen. Then what kind of database version you would like to deploy. So currently we have configured for this demonstration PostgreSQL 12. Then name of the node. We have to mention the name, which, you know, easy to understand and remember as well. And then the description for this, uh, for this particular node. and IP address of that particular node where we are going to create the master database server. Obviously port by default port is uh, for SSH is 22 and we have to use the SSH user name and uh, key. Now click on a save button. Now, as we know that like master setup, uh, replication setups required master and standby. So we have did this activity for master. Now it's done for the standby. Click on the node button and uh, we have to fill the details for the standby servers. Now here I'm entering the IP address of uh, standby machine. Save. Now, now our nodes is ready. Now we have to go back to the template. And, uh, uh, sorry, I need to go to the cluster. Okay, now that's it, we all set to proceed for deployment. Now we are going to click on deploy button.
now you can see the deploy uh, deployment is started and deployed log is generating some more information on a screen with the help of this all information you know you can easily uh, get the idea about the status of the deployment so let's wait to finish this entire deployment Uh, now it's finished uh, successfully and here you can see that how quickly and hassle free it is now let's uh, test the replication now uh, i am going to execute uh, expand the output so i'm executing backslash x then select start from pg state replication see uh, replication is up and running without any issue okay now i'm going to list out the databases backslash l so currently i have a default database and now i'm going to create a new database uh, create database tool semicolon enter Okay, now database is created and now this database should replicate to the our standby machine. So let's connect to the standby machine. Backslash L then see uh, the tool database is already uh, replicated to our standby database.